Joshua Barber coming to you with another food review with a special guest, none other than the one food. He's going to talk to you about his um, appetizer and entree. I've already talked to you guys about mine with an R So, Luana, tell us about your appetizer that you had. Well, the appetizer I had was a, a kale salad, kale Caesar salad. And to be honest with you, it was really good. I really enjoyed it. It wasn't. It was just enough dressing and just enough cheese on it. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I'm, I'm a salad freak. They can tell you that. I love salads. It, it cob salad. It, it doesn't matter. I just love salads. Now for my entree, I had lamb with uh, mashed potatoes. And it was a great one. Now this was my first time. Like the second time eating lamb. This lamb was it was it was very tender and it kind of reminded me of like a soft roast for some reason like roast beef that's why that's what it looks like it was a lot more tender it needed a little bit more it needed it, knew, it needed a little season it wasn't it had season it just wasn't enough but like I said what but what substituted this lack of seasoning was the mashed potatoes. I surrounded my land with mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes was outstanding. So uh, once I put it together, it was great. Uh, I think once they if they seasoned a little bit more, the land would be perfect because like I said, it wasn't tough. It was very, very tender. And that's why that's one thing. When it comes out of certain meats, you look at the texture and you see how soft it is and whatnot. So uh, it wasn't overcooked. Now Talk about my vegetables. I got it a little bit. Oh yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, the veggie lasagna that I had was it was terrible. I'm just gonna be honest with you. I it, first of all, it had no vegetables in it. I was looking for broccoli, carrots, whatever. There was no vegetables in it, and the pasta was hard. It was almost like eating chips. <clears throat> Yeah, like I'm just like, crunchy. what is this? <laughs> and mind you, Josh, I think you were sitting there next to me that oh, way. Yes. I think on the first night, and it was terrible. But of course, I ate it because you know, we paid for it. So um, yeah, I'm glad Bernard enjoyed his beef lasagna later on, a few days later, because I was upset. I said, how can you mess up veg a veggie? Lasagna. That's just ridiculous. But other than that, it had no cheese. It was just, they were like, here, here you go. So I didn't, I didn't like that. I was kind of offended, but I got over. So, but uh, no, I, I didn't like that. I didn't have, uh, I didn't have a certain thing. Like, I don't remember what side I had, but uh, yeah, that, that, only because the vegetables the lasagna stood out so bad, I couldn't even remember what it's like. So, um, other than that, the overall experience on this cruise, as far as the dinner, their presentations are outstanding. Every night, very, very outstanding presentation. They just need to work on the seasoning and some a little bit overcooking issues, undercooking issues. Some of their desserts that we set with some more guests that complain about their what that that chocolate cream cake, something yes, with ice uh, cream. Like a lava cake. Yeah, the lava cake it was undercooked every night, even last night. They really need to work on their dessert. Like I said, the cheesecake was really good. Everything else they need to work on. But overall, the presentation was very nice. And they have great entertainers. All the waiters were there. Now, let me say this. All the waiters, they're very nice people. Shout out to Steve and Shout Dushan. Shout out to Steve and Dushan. They were they very were amazing. Hard. They, were, they attended all of my needs. They had great patience, great attitudes. I would get them far as grade on the service, A plus. Plus all day. I mean, I thoroughly had a great time. For me to be on my first cruise, and of course I appreciate Josh and Bernard for inviting me. I thoroughly enjoyed myself all week as far as like the food and the entertainment. It was great. And I will do it again, but like Carnival, you got to get your results in the season better. <laughs> Other than that, I had a great time. And also, just a um, quick FYI about the servers that's on the um, cruise ships. These people work 
literally around the block. Yeah. And for them to have um, their dinner service still with the A plus rating with me personally, because I've seen servers who only work maybe a six hour shift and by the time they're in that fourth hour, they're giving you a whole lot of crap. But these servers, like they wake up, I think one of our servers tell us, he doesn't leave from cleaning up um, the dining room area, which is huge, till like 11 o'clock. You know, by the time he's done doing that, they're going to bed, you have to be up at five o'clock, six o'clock in the morning and work the way through. And they were still very attentive to everything. There was no mix-ups. Um, if it was a mix-up, it was probably like, this plate goes to this person. It wasn't like, oh, you got the wrong thing. Okay, well, let me go all the way back to the kitchen. No. Like, they were very attentive um, when it came to taking our uh, our order. Um, but servers, A+. Plus. Carnival, you guys are doing a great job with the servers. Um, keep up the good work with that, but when it comes to seasoning, uh, you guys got something to work on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Get it together. And I understand that you guys have to season to everybody's taste buds because I know about batch cooking, you have to make sure it's not too much salt, not a lot of calories and all that stuff. I understand all of that, but um, it's like get it to a baseline to where I don't really have to add that much salt or add that much pepper. Or say, hey, uh, Steve, or hey, Dushan, can I get some butter for this? Or can I get this? Like, get it to a nice baseline to where I can just do a quick dash of salt, a quick dash of pepper, and call it a day. Um, I get tired of just about every night I had to like sit there and put some salt on everything because it's no season, like nothing. Um, so, one, overall, what would you give that dinner? I'm gonna spell it one to ten. Uh, that that I will get eight. Yeah, I get eight compared to my seven. Right, um, but, <laughs> but hey, you know, different taste buds. First one of five. The first night five. No, matter of fact, yeah, four. Shit. I'm sorry, that that vegetable lasagna but was awful. You guys have come a long way from yeah. from, yeah. from the first night the up first until night. now. Yeah. You guys have really. Did a tremendous turnaround. I don't know if you guys are watching my reviews or what, but you guys have done a, a tremendous turnaround. Um, but overall experience so far has been good. No complaints. Um, I'm enjoying my dinners. Uh, I mean, it's nothing to send back. It's just season-wise. You know, we're going to season, and that's pretty much it. So this is Joshua Barber signing out, along with the one cook. Peace. Yeah.